Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here for today's video. Going to be taking a look at connecting an external monitor to a Canon XA series Pro Camcorder. <laughs> So the camcorder I'm going to be connecting with today is going to be the XA40. This is kind of the bottom range of Canon's XA uh, Pro camcorder series. There's also the XA45, 50 and 55. Now the good news from a monitoring standpoint, if you want to start using an external camera monitor is that they will all drive an external uh, monitor output. So you can use a external monitor to watch what you're doing and it just makes it a lot easier than trying to look at that small LCD screen or using the OLED um, monitor. And the good thing is also that a lot of external camera monitors come with sun visors, so you can also uh, use it in uh, sunny conditions. The differences between the Canon XA40, 45, 50, and 55 uh, really boil down to the SDI output for pro broadcasting use as well as time code. Uh, but you can monitor on all of those and they're pretty much the same uh, form factor. So how to do this, um, you're going to need to connect a HDMI cable to the side jack of your XA, Canon XA Pro camcorder. And it's actually on my XA40, it's mini HDMI. That's important to note. It's not a full size HDMI connection. So the uh, cable that I'm using to connect my monitor is mini to regular HDMI. Um, and it's this, this is the uh, newer F100 seven inch uh, camcorder. I picked this guy up on Amazon and it's a 1280 by 800 max resolution monitor. Now that is very important. And when I actually connected this for the first time, I thought it was a dud purchase that it wouldn't work. The reason is the max resolution, you need to configure that as the output resolution on your XA40. I'm gonna go into that in uh, just a moment. So if you're shooting in 4K, let's say, the camera, unless you tell it to output the HDMI lower resolution, is going to want to output at that resolution. So you're, if you output at a resolution that's greater than what the external monitor can support, in this case, my external monitor is limited to 1280 by 800, then clearly you're gonna have a problem and the monitor will throw up a message like signal not detected or something like that. So let's go ahead and uh, do that now. So there is a couple of settings here and I'm just gonna hold up the camera to my webcam, pretty uh, pretty basic uh, tech here, but uh, this should uh, show you guys where that is. So you wanna jump into the menu and I'm just gonna bring this up in a second here and it's over in the fourth uh, screen uh, which has a kind of screen icon. So it looks like this. Just gonna hold this up like this. Um, and you can see the first option there is HDMI uh, max resolution. Now that's the first thing. So I had to change that to 1280 by 800 in order to get this to work. And the second thing that you might want to do is there's a second page to those HDMI settings. And that's where you can toggle on and off the uh, on-screen display. So you can actually get a pure HDMI output or a clean HDMI output that doesn't uh, doesn't have anything on the screen except for the actual video signal. That's on the second page. And there's also a on-screen markers option as well. So if you wanna get a, a grid three by three, that will show both on the LCD on the camera um, as well as the external monitor. And that's that setting is located on the second page of those settings you have there, um, LCD output, uh, output on-screen displays and uh, output marker. So I have the on-screen displays setting on, on-screen marker setting off. So that's basically it. So I'm gonna just set up the camera for recording. I'm in camera mode. Uh, I have it recording here. And now I just wanna make sure that my HDMI cable is uh, connected to my external monitor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now connecting it into the side panel. So obviously you wanna also make sure that you buy a uh, long enough HDMI cable. I'm just gonna grab the battery for the uh, monitor here, just off the side of my desk. I actually had it charging. And now all I need to do, I'm gonna hold my camera. Let's see, I'm gonna hold it like this way. And I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, pop the battery into the monitor and we should start working. Battery connected, so it's just gonna take a little second here uh, for the uh, monitor to turn itself on and get through the 
home screen and just give it two more seconds. I should press the on button, of course. Okay, now the on button's been pressed and you can see those nice sun visors. Neewer is gonna come up for a second. And there we go. And now we're getting the camera display out through the monitor. Now you can see, once you have those on-screen markers turned on, you're getting pretty much everything you would through the LCD on the camera. You're getting the level meters, autofocus indicators, and you can see now as I just kind of move with my other hand, the camera about the room, uh, we're getting that as well. So you might find those on-screen markers on the external monitor distracting, useful, but you can toggle them either, either way. And you've also got, of course, the battery level indicator, which is, uh, which is helpful. So really everything you can get on the built-in uh, LCD you can get on this external monitor. So that's it guys, if you own the XA40 or another one of the uh, XA Pro series camcorders uh, from Canon, I hope this video has been useful showing you uh, how to get the external monitor running. Just to reiterate again, the one thing you don't wanna do is have the HDMI output set to a setting above the maximum resolution of your external monitor. So if your external monitor is uh, less than uh, 1980 by uh, 1080, aka 1080p or 4K, whatever the case may be, you're gonna want to lower that HDMI resolution to the max output monitor. I don't think there's any reason you'd want to go lower than the max because you want to see as, you know, a monitor as well as possible. Um, just one final thing to say as well, because HDMI carries audio, uh, the audio actually comes into the external monitor. So I've got a pair of headphones uh, plugged into the external monitor. And that way I can kill two birds with the one stone. I can monitor both the video and the audio as I'm capturing it through the XA40 via HDMI. Hope this video was useful. If you own the XA40, if you'd like to get more videos from me about videography, technology, and other subjects, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.